hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'd like to take you on the behind the scenes with me where i compare my 51.2 and the 85 1.2 canon lens Before we get into this video, I just wanted to mention that all the images in today's video were edited using my Lightroom presets. If you'd like to check them out, make sure to go to anitastovska.eu slash shop and check them out. There is lots of options, so I'm sure you're going to find something for yourself. If you'd like to check them out, make sure to use my discount code YouTube10 at the checkout and you're going to get 10% off your first purchase. So as you guys probably seen in my previous videos, I got to test out the 51.2 and the 85 1.2 Canon lens and I thought that I would show you a little comparison that I did comparing the two lenses. I wasn't really testing them on 1.2 as much. It was a swimwear shoot and the light was quite harsh so we were using quite a high aperture but I thought it would be interesting to test it out in a bit more unconventional setting where it's not your typical, you know, 1.2 test. Once we got to Maiden's Cove, we decided to settle by a tidal pool. I always like shooting in those because the water is usually crystal clear and it looks really beautiful. So it's always a nice kind of setup for you. Um, I did want to have her on the edge of a tidal pool so we can get some nice waves crashing behind her. I absolutely love playing with waves, having them around the model. I did almost drown once because of it, because I got swept by a wave, but that's another story. So first off, I started shooting on the 85 1.2 and then later I changed them to the 50mm 1.2. To be perfectly honest, I haven't seen that much difference between the two of them, other than obviously the focal length. Um, but obviously for me, it was a bit better to shoot on the 85 in that kind of situation, it's just because the waves were crashing in so strong. I was really, really worried about getting soaked and getting swept away into the pool and so on. So it was just a better option for me at that time. For this particular shoot, I decided to set it for the afternoon. I thought that the sun would be nice and soft. I was waiting for the golden hour. I really wanted to get the beautiful light going through. And even though I was shooting in direct sunlight, I still find it much better to shoot in the afternoon because you get much softer shadows and the light is much more manageable. Usually when I shoot my swimmer editorials, I find that I shoot on a lower F, maybe 2.8, 3.5 or even 1.4 if I use my 50mm. For this particular shoot, I thought it would be kind of nice to test out something a bit different. I wanted to get a lot of nature around her and I wanted it to be quite sharp and quite in focus. So I did experiment a bit and went up to F7, which was quite an interesting look. Um, it wasn't my usual look, but I did really enjoy it, especially using the 51.2, just because it was giving me a bit more distortion than the 85. And it was just giving this really nice, almost a high fashion effect to my images. I've been getting loads of questions asking how to make the model equally exposed to the sky because you know a lot of the time if you shoot the sky is going to be very overblown or the model is going to be underexposed and the answer to that is just to shoot with the sunlight so just face the model towards the light and shoot it this way and that's why it's so important for you to shoot either early in the morning or later in the afternoon because that's the way you're going to get that nice softer light um, that is a bit more manageable if you do end up shooting in the midday instead you're going to get loads of shadows the light is going to be much less manageable it's going to be much harsher and much colder looking another upside of shooting in the afternoon is that you're going to get a much softer light even if you face away from the sun so i find if i don't use reflector which i don't usually do um, it's much easier for me to shoot against the light and still get a really nice soft image I find if the sun is very high in the sky, the image is going to look really, really dark. The model is going to be really underexposed and everything else is going to be completely blown out. But as you kind of approach the golden hour and as the light softens, it's much easier to create a much more balanced image. Towards the end of our shoot, we were shooting in the golden hour. We were getting loads of really beautiful golden light. So I wanted to make sure that I kind of play around with the surroundings. The rocks were very neutral color. They were kind of nudish color. So I thought it would work really, really well with the model's skin tone and the fact that everything was turning slightly bit more orangey yellow. So I shot with her against the rocks, kind of getting in part of the surroundings. And I really loved the way it looked. Um, I really loved the way it kind of created one whole image and her swimsuit was black as well, which kind of worked with the shadows. So it was just like she was a part of nature and I think it looked really nice. 
I found using the 85 1.2 and the 50 1.2 a really good experience. However, I found that it was slightly limiting in terms of the focal length. I did get used to using my 24 to 70 quite a lot because it gives me a bit more space to play around with, a bit more background to play around with. I did switch to using it towards the end of the shoot just to get a bit more lens distortion because I thought it would work quite well with the model and the background this way. So I did already cover the 85 and the 50 in my previous videos. I'm going to pop in a little information card here so you can watch them if you'd like. But in general, I was really happy with the contrasts and the sharpness of the lens. They were both quite fast. Um, I still stand my ground and I will say that I wouldn't spend the money on the 50. I would possibly purchase the 85, but it's definitely not on top of my list at the moment. And I feel like using the 24 to 70 gives me so much more freedom to play around with different focal lengths and different distortions and just different angles. And I find personally that for a swimmer, that lens is much better over the 50 and the 85. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.